this video we are going to see two basic types of signals that is continuous time signal and discrete time signal Let me explain a continuous time signals. In the case of continuous time signals, the independent variable is a continuous. Hence, the variable which depend upon this will have the continuum values. What is the meaning of this? It means for each and every value of independent variable, signal does exist, whether it is an integer number or a fraction number. So if you want to plot the continuous time signal, it will look like this. So for every value of t, that is x of t, this is called as a continuous time signal. Let's discuss discrete time signal. Discrete time signals only defined for discrete time intervals. And consequently, For these signals, the independent variable only takes discrete values. Now, what is the meaning of discrete set of values? For that, let's take a simple example. Discrete time signal will look like this. So I'm randomly taking values. Let's take this as a zero. It has to be one, two, three, four, and five. And this is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So, so the dependent variable is x of n, and for every value of n, I'm having a corresponding x of n, meaning for 
n equal to 0, I have x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, over here x of minus 1 and so on. One thing we have to observe for a discrete time signal. Discrete time signal, as we said earlier, it independent variable takes on only discrete set of values. Discrete set of values means only integers. So, signal does exist only for integer values of n. Only is the keyword over here. We have to keep this in mind. We cannot have a discrete time signal for 0 0.5. We cannot have a discrete time signal for three and a half. It has to be a integer value only. Then and then only discrete time signal exists. There are some important class for a discrete time signals which we can get from a continuous time signal by the process called as sampling. So, discrete time signal can be obtained from corresponding continuous time signal. by the process called as sampling. Meaning, suppose I'm having a continuous signal like this. I can get a corresponding discrete time signal from the continuous time signal that I have taken earlier just by doing the sampling. What is the meaning of sampling? So I will not take each and every instant of t. Instead, I will take some integer values. For example, over here I have so many uh, values of t, I will just pick out uh, integers and I may get like this. So for minus 2, somewhere here I will get a signal, minus 1, little above, for 0, Again, it will follow the pattern. Like this. So basically, uh, if I try to join the points, it will approximate same waveform that we have earlier in a continuous time signal, but by doing the sampling, I am only getting a sample at integer values. So, from the continuous time signal, I can get a corresponding discrete time signal by doing the process of sampling. So, continuous time signal. And this is a discrete time signal. Which are equivalent to each other. Except from the continuous we can get a discrete by the process of sampling. Because of the speed, computational power and flexibility. 
digital processors are used very often to operate the digital processor we need a discrete time signals which are nothing but a sampled versions of continuous time signals meaning maximum signals in the universe we have in a continuous time domain but we need to use a digital or a repeat we need to use digital processor for that we need a signal which is a discrete time and from the continuous time to discrete time we need to sample the continuous time to get a discrete time and once the discrete time signal is obtained we can operate our digital processor 